Hello friends, welcome to Code Semantic and welcome to the video tutorial of Link. In this video, we are going to study one more standard query operator of Link that is Select Many. It also comes under the projection operator. Okay, we already studied one projection operator before this. It is Select operator. Okay, so let us see in which scenario we have to use Select Many operator. All of we know that basically most of the link queries or most of the link standard query operator returns the collection and some collections have another collections within it. Okay. And suppose I want to write a query that will return me a collection within a collection. In that case, select many operator is useful. Okay. So let us read this certain type of queries returns collection of collection. And what this select many method does, this select many method flatten this result into a single collection. Okay, so we are going to study this part practically in Visual Studio. So let us switch to Visual Studio. So here I am using the same uh, console application that we have created before that is link step by step console application. Okay, I have already created this student class. And before this also in many example we use the same class okay so to avoid the input from the user what we did we wrote one get all method which is having this collection and this get all method is returning this collection so what I did I just initialize this list with some default values and as you can see here this collection the list collection itself has one more collection that is array of string means individual record itself contains one collection okay so when you select any record using uh, where criteria or any order by operator or any operator that we have studied till now what it gives you it gives you a collection of student along with a subject collection okay now we are going to study how select many operator will be helpful to fetch a collection within a collection. Now there is one requirement. Assume that you want to display a subject of all the students. What do you want to do? You want to display a subject of all the students. So first of all what we are going to do? We are going to display a subject of a student without select many operator. Okay. And then after we will write it using select many operator so you can easily understand the difference so let us switch to our example here i already added one class that is select for select many operator and even i wrote a main method i pull all the records from our student class using get all method and i kept it in a all stored collection okay so before switching to query syntax and method syntax as i told you what we are going to do we are going to fetch the subject list of all the students but without using select many so how to write it so definitely i'm going to use a query syntax for this okay so say var all student okay all we are, as you can see here we already have a student collection okay we already kept it in all student or suppose you want to put any criteria you can use uh, where where clause or where operator also but here again i am not saying that from s in all student select s because since i have to get all the records and all the records are already there in all student so there is no sense to writing that statement again so better way what will i do i'll just iterate through for each loop okay so here i'll say for each student s in all student okay so every student will be collected in s and then what i have to do i have to say for each string subject say sub in s dot subject okay and then i have to say console dot write line sub that's it 
okay so what you did we have to use a nested for loop because my collection subject collection is present in individual student so first of all i fetch a single student of a record and then after within that single student i am fetching the subject record okay so instead of this how we can use a select many operator so first of all we are going to concentrate on query syntax so let me comment this part because i hope all of you are familiar with this okay so this is this particular part belongs to without sorry without select many now we are going to write using select many so first of all we will focus on the query syntax okay now we know that subject is what it is a collection of string either you can define it using var or if you know the data type it is better to define it so i enumerable string is also good so i'll say i enumerable string okay now say all subject okay is equal to from s in all stood from sub in s dot subjects select subject okay that's it so this is a syntax this is a query syntax for select many operator we use two consecutive from statements okay what we did we first of all fetch a single student record and then we kept it in s okay and then from that single student i fetch the single subject from the subject collection and i kept it in sub variable and whatever there is in sub variable it will be collected in all sub so this collection is purely a collection of subject which is of type string so let us print it and let's let us verify the output okay now here i have to use just a single for each loop because as per the definition of a select many what it does it flattens the collection into single collection right so string s in all subject console dot write line s and let us write one more statement here console dot write line using query syntax okay done now let us execute it but before that let me set a startup object so now this is going to be our select many operator right so let me press a control f5 if you just press f5 then it will be in a debug mode and you you are unable to see the outputs there are errors so let us see what are the errors so here mistakenly instead of all sub okay i use all stood okay and since all stood is of type collection of student definitely it is going to be give an error so instead of all stood what i have to use i have to say all sub okay that's it so let us run it you get all the subject names that we define in our collection right you can verify it it has c c++ bs php jsp c sharp db and so on so if we move here to our student file just verify all the subjects get listed in our output okay so i hope you understand the meaning of select many whenever you are interested only in collection within collection at that time the 
select menu operator is helpful. Now, let us write a method syntax. Method syntax is going to be quite easy. Now, what will I do? I am going to use the same collection here. Okay. So, I just say all sub. I will not declare it. Or what we can do? We can declare it something like this. I enumerable string all sub method. Okay. This will be quite readable. Then here you have to say what is our main collection? My main collection is this all stood which is having all the data stored in it. So what we have to say all stood be careful to not get confused with all stood and all sub dot there is directly a select menu operator. Okay. Unlike query syntax method syntax is, syntax is very easy. So here you have to specify the object definitely it will be of type student and then after you have to specify the collection within that student objects that's it so definitely the condition for this is that this subject whatever i wrote here okay it should be a collection means it can be an array it can be a list or anything it should be a collection okay now let us iterate through it and let us observe the output so i'll just copy this part and we'll made a we'll make a minor changes in it so first of all i have to say using method syntax and now my collection is what all sub method okay that's it and here i'll put just one new line just to differentiate the output of query syntax and method syntax. So let us execute it. Let us press Ctrl F5. Look at here. Both the output are same. Upper one is of query syntax and below one is a method syntax. So I hope uh, you understand the concept of select menu. If you have any doubts or any question, you can write it to me in a comment section. I'll definitely try to answer this. And thank you for watching and if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe it and share it with your friends. Thank you. Thank you so much.